Hello, caffeineers, kidders, and chitters. Welcome back to Coffee Cats and Chats. <clears throat> Excuse me. Today, we are going to be reviewing the, here it is, the Garnier Skin Active Moisture Balm Sheet Mask, the Super Hydrating Mask Anti-Fatigue. That's the name. It sounds weird, I know. Anyways, this was purchased for $2.95 at Walmart. Um, it was on sale, I do believe, at the time. Um, but regularly they're only just just over three dollars or whatever so yeah we're gonna be doing this today so I'm just gonna read the packaging like normal and then I will read the directions and then we'll put it on and then we'll go over the ingredients so Garnier skin active uh, new Moisture Balm Sheet Mask, the super hydrating mask anti-fatigue. Intensely hydrates and reduces signs of fatigue with lavender essential oil and hyaluronic acid for fatigued, dry, tired looking skin. Sorry. Uh, so yeah, here we go. The super hydrating sheet mask anti-fatigue, a new generation of sheet mask from Asia that acts like a balm of hydration. This water-based sheet mask with hyaluronic acid, an ingredient naturally found in skin, floods skin with intense weightless hydration. Free of mineral oil and parabens, this non-greasy formula with lavender essential oil revitalizes skin and reduces signs of fatigue. The mask with a pleasant, relaxing scent leaves your skin looking rested. Results. Delivers 24-hour long-lasting hydration, helps prevent moisture loss throughout the day. Women agreed after one use that skin feels soft and comfortable, skin looks rested and refreshed, skin seems smooth and nourished and women agreed after one week which is based on three applications in one week that skin looks fresh and revitalized and skin feels supple and replumped <clears throat> obviously i'm only I, I haven't done it three times i only have one so uh we'll just be looking to see if my skin feels soft and comfortable looks rested and refreshed and seems smooth and nourished compared to this yeah <laughs> um so directions start with clean skin <clears throat> Gently press the mask onto the face with the blue protective film visible on the outside of your face. Oh god, that was interesting last time. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> um, peel off the blue film, adjust and smooth at the mask to fit the contours of your face, leave on for 15 minutes, remove the mask and gently massage the remaining product into the skin. No need to rinse. Oh, five says enjoy a restful night's sleep. Maybe this should be one that I do before bed. Anyways, I'm going, it doesn't, that was the only time it ever mentioned night, so um, I'm gonna do it now, <laughs> and we're gonna sleep. So as you can see, I really like the packaging that uh, Garnier Skin Active has for theirs. It just makes them look really fancy. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna open this. Opens really easy. Oh, flip. I'm gonna peel this sucker out, and we want. The blue on the outside. So okay, here we go. This one's I think already better than the last one. Oh, oh yeah, these ones though make me feel like a fish though. See how like the eyes are all wonky? They don't fit. Oh my god! Look at tiny little mouth holes. Do I have like a, a little, a giant head? Like what? Oh wow, this is bad. This is so bad. Okay. So, I got out my face. What did it say again? Peel off and then fit to the contours. Of it. Yep, peel off. We film. Mother clucker. What is happening? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Okay, so it's... Okay. Yeah, that's way better. Oh. Okay, so this makes it deceivingly seem smaller. <laughs> it seems to fit my face. The actual sheet mask itself fits my face better without the film on it. Obviously, that's a good thing. It's loaded with product. My hands are soaked, as you can see. Oh, oh my goodness. So, got it up there. Smooth the rest on my neck and hands. I'm just gonna start my timer because it says 15 minutes here, so we're going to go. 15! Okay, so we're gonna go over a few ingredients while we're waiting for this to 
do its thing on the face. Oh my god, it's like so much product. So much product. I'm like putting out my arms. <laughs> Okay, so one of the first ingredients that popped out to me was propylene glycol. I know I've mentioned it before. Um, it's commonly used as a skin conditioning agent. It has been associated with irritant and allergic contact dermatitis, as well as contact urticaria, aka hives. Um, so yeah, uh, next up we have PEG-40 hydrogenated castor oil, which contains PEG, ergo contamination concerns because of the processing and manufacturing process. Um, it may contain toxic impurities, so that's the worry there with any PEGs, polyethylene glycol. Um, so yeah, next up we got potassium hydroxide, aka caustic potash. Um, it's used as a pH adjuster. Environment Canada does classify this as toxic or harmful. Um, normally Environment Canada is less strict, but um, on potassium hydroxide they are. It is able to be used in cosmetics obviously because it's due to um, dosage wise and the amount that you're exposed to. But um, yeah, good to know. And next up is Lavendula Hybrida Oil. Uh, so this is not truly natural lavender. It is like manufactured lavender, um, but it still has the same health benefits as lavender oil does. So some health benefits are it fights depression by boosting your self-esteem, confidence, hope, and mental strength. It prevents infections. It reduces pain. It restores skin complexion and reduces acne, and it also slows aging with powerful antioxidants. Next up, we got sodium hyaluronate. The salt of hyaluronic acid. It enhances the appearance of dry or damaged skin by reducing flaking and restoring suppleness. Um, it really draws water and moisture right back into your skin, so it's a good ingredient to have for sure. Dipotassium glycosate, aka licorice root extract. Uh, this skin conditioning agent works to improve the appearance of dry damaged skin by reducing flaking and restoring suppleness. Sounds familiar. <laughs> and also functions as an anti-irritant with anti-inflammatory and skin soothing capabilities. So that's pretty good as well. Next up, we got Afran phenoxyethanol. It's a preservative, um, so it's limited evidence of skin and immune system toxicity. The European Union and Environment Canada are divided on this. Um, the European Union considers it harmful and toxic, where Environment Canada does not. So they consider it a low human health priority. So that's interesting. But um, yeah, so that's that's it that that was this one wasn't a big long list like yesterday so I will put you guys on hold because we still have 12 minutes <laughs> to go so I've only been talking for three minutes quite the difference from the last few uh, posts I've been making so I'm going to put you guys on pause and I will be seeing you soon and talking to you soon bye Hey guys, welcome back. As you can see, that part always dries out on me. It's a little less dry, like it's still damp um, than other sheet masks because this thing was chock full of serum. So we're just gonna peel it off now. It's been 15 minutes. So, oh my God, my face is like soaked. Um, yeah, and as you can see, this is still like, you can hear that, still soaked with product too. So, just a second, I'm just setting it down over here. And now we're gonna pat it into my face and get a closer look. My skin is like so wet right now. Um, so, yeah. It's still drying on my skin, obviously. Um, Skin looks good, I guess. I don't know. Does it look less? Do I look more rested? <laughs> um, anyways, we'll get on to. I'm just gonna grab Frankie here and we'll rate it. Hey, Snoodle. Oh, here we go. Hey, guys. He says I was just sleeping. I'm not gonna touch my face to you because I'll be covered in Frankie fur freaks. Um, so look, look up. Oh, he says it's too bright. <laughs> so I would probably only give this mask. Um, it feels great on my skin. Don't get me wrong, but I'm probably only gonna give it a 3.5. Don't touch that. That's the remote, buddy. Um, a 3.5 out of five Frankies. Um, just because 
honestly, it has more controversial ingredients than it does good ingredients for your skin. And um, yeah, just the film thing when you put it on and then have to take that off, it worked a lot better, Get don't get me wrong this time, like it went pretty well without a hitch. Last time I like almost pulled the mask off my face again. So uh, the, yeah, I'm just not a fan of the Garnier or the two that I've tried so far, Garnier Skin Active Moisture Balm She Masks. Um, but uh, it's good. It's just not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for better, I guess. Um, no shade, <laughs> Garnier, but uh, yeah, it's just, I think there we could do a lot better with the ingredients, ingredients wise. But it does, like, my skin feels good. It's still absorbing in there's lots of serum in it and it's only $2.95 um, so you can't really argue with that price point it's pretty good and yeah I'm not sure what it would look like after three uses but it might look even better so anyways you guys can try it yourselves to see if you like it or not but that's just my opinion so uh, thank you so much for stopping with me here and hanging out and we will see you again soon just a second Cheers. Thanks for dropping by. See you soon, guys. Bye.